Hey, what is up guys, Saxon Tech, and here we are on the very first time in my year, which is CES 2016 in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is quite the experience how I saw a lot of good things at the CES event. I'm so happy that I went to this event this year. I couldn't be more stoked about it. It is quite the experience how I get to meet a lot of YouTubers out there, and of course, a lot of technology. But I'm gonna agree to what Kevin the Tech Ninja said to me. It, he's only there to look at the experience of meeting other people of other youtubers so i kind of find that in a very humble way and i kind of agree to him in every single bit of it so let's get to write what in the information about what is ces all about so the first thing i definitely want to talk to you guys about and that is the lg oled tv displays it is completely crispy 4k the re resolution and all kind of modern things that you actually have to see at the ces event all the TVs there was completely magnificent. I was mind boggling. My eyes was completely wide open. I had I had so many places to see and so much thin bezels as I walk around and take a look at the experience. So far, looking at a 98 inch screen TV, 4K resolution was quite the experience. I'm gonna show you that a little later. And seeing that all these beautiful colors and these saturations has completely overwhelmed me to actually understand and see what it is about in CES. The experience is quite off the chart and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw every single TV and every single little bit of everything at the CES event. So far, I have seen so many TVs in my life but not as quite as beautiful as the one I see right here at the 98K, 98 inch 4K display right here on, this, on the screen. And I'm glad to be a part of the CES events 2016 to see everything as I go around. Next thing I want to talk about is the LG K7. This is a K7 phone, the European style. It's quite the compacter room. It's quite good. It looks, it's very sleek, it's very modern, it's very soft, and not that heavy at all. But it is a UK version, which is not the American version, which is kind of a problem for us. But that's when they have a tribute for our kind as well, in the United States version, which will be coming out later this year and somewhere in around spring. But other than that, the phone is quite good, it's very sleek, it's very nice, it's, uh, it's very n not heavy at all and it's very good for anybody standard in case they want to end up buying themselves another LG phone, which is the K7 Tribute. They have it in three different variety colors, they have it in silver, black and white. The V10 is also another great phone. It's uh, in color blue as this moment that I've seen and color white and also black but this blue is aqua blue. It's a really nice color. It has a great tons of feature, notification swipes le left to right, and also definitely swipes down. Camera is completely off the amazing. As you can see here, you can actually change the white balance. You actually can change the focus. You actually can put the depth of field all manually as if you had a D DSLR camera. Quite the experience, but I could think they could push a little bit more to the limit. But other than that, I'm actually pretty kind of happy with for the phone and see how it's going to come out turn out in the, in the future. Next thing I want to talk about is the DJI droids. As I was over there taking a look at all the droids, it is a quite amazing how I see all these things up in person. I never actually owned one or even seen one up in person to actually fly it around as I saw at the CES event. But this black style is like a Nighthawk. Quite amazing of a droid and has a big giant lens right in front of it so you actually can record. So here I am recording this droid in the air. As you can see, it's Kevin the Tech Ninja. I was hanging with him. There he is back there. We was actually hanging around and talking about the droids and we was looking at them and she actually they actually point out a lot of good things features about this droid that has already been told before but i was actually be able to get a glimpse of it up in person which i kind of was very helpful so i had to thank you for them on the other hand going to the company called letv at first i didn't think exactly what was it really about i thought it was just nothing but tv but it turns out they seem to have a phone also and this phone it happens to be a 7 inch display port with a 13 megapixel on the rear even though it looks like it happens to be more like an 18 but it's still pretty sharp at some point but I'm pretty sure they could test the they testing the boundary and they could push it more to the limit to where it really needs to be even though this one is just completely a prototype and not the final finish and working on this phone is actually pretty nice and smooth at a certain point but I'm pretty sure they could do better than that and of course a 90 inch 4k display TV is quite beautiful really really colorful and really nice i would have to say 
maybe I would purchase one of these someday soon. On the other hand of things, these are the new Jaybird that will be coming out with the next fall or spring. They're actually a little bit smaller than the average X, uh, Blue Buds and the X2. But other than that, I think this is this sounds really great in my opinion. And I soon to have this in my own possession that I plan to have one in the near future once it releases on their date. And as I was over to the Hennheiser place, you see the headphones that Bob Tech is wearing? They have an actual knob on the outside that changes the volume control, which I think that is pretty darn dope. That I think they actually really think it outside the box. So thank kudos for that. But nothing does not be this pair of headphones right here. This, my friend, is Orpheus. She's made by Sennheiser with marble slab, with buttons and lights and a lid that just appeared out of nowhere and opens up and pops up. And oh my God, it's, it feels like it's a secret entrance to get inside, like if you have a back cave. This, my friend, is a mother load of all headphones. She is worth $50,000. Yes, I would not have that money just to buy a pair of headphones, which I don't think I will ever have one in this lifetime or the next. It's too rich for my blood to end up even purchasing this. But using this headphone, I want to kill Sennheiser for actually letting me listen to this because they just completely ruined my life by having such an awesome pair of headphones that they have made it. It's quite the masterpiece. It's like that's their baby and I cannot end up having one on my own. They're completely massively huge, but boy, they are worth having it. And I have to say, thank you again for ruining my life. So anyway guys, that is the video of my CES 2016 experience that I have done so far. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to answer it and respond to you back. Be that awesome person who liked this video by giving it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because it does help out the channel a lot. I'm Saxon Tech, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.